Good morning. It is January 4th. Time for Pastor Rick's Reflections. I hope everyone had uh, a good start to your new year. Um, the first part of this year might be difficult, but I think in the end um, we'll have this thing turned around and it's going to be much better than 2020. Uh, today we're going to read from Luther and our Bible verse for today is Exodus 20 verse 2. You shall have no other gods before me. And uh, I'll be reading from uh, Luther's large catechism. That is, you are to regard me alone as your God. What does this mean and how is it to be understood? What does to have a God mean or what is God? Answer, a God refers to that which, to which we look for all good and in which we are to find refuge in all need. Therefore, to have a God is nothing else than to trust and believe that one with your whole heart. As I have often said, it, it is the trust and faith of the heart alone that makes both, both God and an idol. If your faith and trust are right, then your God is the true one. Conversely, where your trust is false and wrong, there you do not have the true God. For these two, faith and God, belong together. Anything on which your heart relies and depends, I say, that is really your God. The intention of this commandment, therefore, is to require true faith and confidence of the heart, which fly straight to the one true God and cling to God alone. What this means is, see to it that you let me, let me alone be your God. Never search for another. In other words, whatever good thing you lack, look to me for it and seek it from me. And whenever you suffer misfortune or distress, Crawl to me and cling to me. I, I myself, will give you what you need and help you out of every danger. Only do not let your heart cling or rest to anyone else. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for another day. We thank you that you are our God. We can put our faith and our trust in you. You help us out of danger. You guide us with your wisdom. You love us and forgive us beyond anything we can measure. Continue to help us in this new year. Help us uh, to see the light at the end of the tunnel of this pandemic. While numbers are high, help us, uh, well, while the disease is still out there, but especially now when numbers are high, help us to take care of one another, to mask, to distance, uh, to do what we can as we wait uh, for people to continue to get the, the vaccine. Be with those who are taking care of the sick. Bless them and protect them. Help us uh, to be a neighbor to one another, helping each other wherever we can. Continue to be with those uh, who are ill, those who are grieving, those who are hungry, those who are homeless, and help us to see how we can help them. Keep us always in your care. And remind us of your loving Christ's name we pray. Amen.